Welcome to another Microsoft Access tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you about the DSUM function, which is very similar to the DLOOKUP function, except DSUM allows you to add a bunch of values from a table or query. In one of my previous lessons, I taught you about the DLOOKUP function. DLOOKUP is handy if you want to look up a specific value. For example, let's say you have a list of customers, a customer table. You've got a customer ID, a first name, a last name, and so on. You know the customer ID, maybe four, and you want to go to the customer table and say, who is customer four? Bring me back the first name. So in that particular case, you can use the DLOOKUP function. DLOOKUP, the first name, from the customer table, where the ID is 3, or 4, or 15, or whatever value the user has selected. You can use DLOOKUP in your queries, in your forms, and in your VBA code. Now what if you don't want a specific single value? What if you want to add up a range of values? Let's say you have an order table. You've got the order date, the amount, information about the order as a whole, and you want to find the sum of all of the orders after February 1st, 2013. To do that, you can use the DSUM function. DSUM says add up a range of values. What value? Amount from the order table where the order date is greater than February 1st, 2013. Now, dates have to be inside little pound symbols. They're little number signs. That's because they're dates. And that would bring back the value 320 in this case. So let's see how this works inside of a database. Okay, here's the database I built in my Access classes. Simple main menu, customer list, employees, and so on. And right down here, I built a text box with a DSUM function in it that adds up all of the orders for the last 30 days. I even put a little refresh button right here so you can click on that and refresh that number in case you go in and add an order or change something. How did I build that? Well, let's take a look at it. Let's go to Design View. Let's open up the Properties. Here's the statement right here. Equals D sum, line total, that's the field from the table, or query, from my orders for stats queue, where the order date is greater than, and then inside of these little pound symbols, date, the date function, minus 30. That says 30 days ago, and I want the values to be greater than or equal to that. So that's all the sales from the past 30 days. Pulled from this query, orders for stats queue. Put that control in the control source. Let me walk you through one. Here's customer table. In my customer table, I have a field called credit limit. Right there. It's how much possible credit the customer has. Now, let's say, as a business owner, I would like to know if all my customers came in at once and charged up their credit limits, how much could I possibly be in debt for? So I want to know what the total credit limit for all of my customers is at any one given time. So I want to add up the credit limit field from the customer table. Okay, so back here on my main menu, let's drop another text box on here. Design text box is right there. I'll just drop it right down here on the bottom. The label that comes with it, we'll just put in here total credit, like that. And it's gray, so let's make that black real quick on the format tab. There's black, foreground color. Now, the text box, open this guy up, open the properties up, double click on it. Its name is text52, let's call it total credit. And now the control source is where we put the dsum function. I'm going to say this is equal to dsum. First bit of information, the expression. What is the field you want to add up? Well, inside of quotes, credit limit, close quote, comma. The domain is what table or query you're looking this information up in. In this case, the customer table, customer T. Now, the criteria, the third bit of information, that's optional. If you just want all the records in the entire table or query, leave it blank, which I will. All right, let's save it. All right, I'm going to close the main menu and then reopen it. I like to do that so it refreshes everything. 
Open the main menu up, and there it is. And of course, we can format it as currency. But there's the total amount of credit that I could be in debt for if all of my customers certainly ran into the store and just went wild. You can add criteria to that if you want as well. Let's say you're just interested in customers from New York. Right? That criteria right there, you can say comma, where the state equals. Now, New York itself is a text string, so it has to be inside of quotes. So we use double, double quotes for that. So it's going to be double, double quotes, NY, and then double, double quotes again, and then another set of double quotes to close up the quotes, because this is a string, right? That whole thing needs open and close quotes, and then New York itself needs quotes. Those double, double quotes turn into regular quotes. It's a little confusing, I know, but that's how they do it. You could also use single quotes in there, but I, I don't like using single quotes. So now I should get all the customers, credit limits from the customer table where the customer's state is New York. All right, I'll save that, close it, and again, I like to reopen it again. Let's see. And there we go, only $500. And a quick look at the table, we'll double check that. Let's see. Customer table. Where's my New Yorkers? There and there. Let's scroll over and see what their credit limits are. There's a 500 and a zero. So that's correct. And that's how you do a D sum. You can put the D sum and D lookup functions inside of form fields like I just did. You can put them inside of queries. You can use them in reports. You can use them in, use them in your visual basic code. You can put them in all kinds of different places. Very versatile functions. Now, if you want to learn more about the D sum function, visit my website and look for my Access Expert 11 class. I've got lots of beginner and expert and advanced classes available. Access Expert 11 is where I cover DSUM. And if you don't know how to use DLOOKUP, learn that one first. DLOOKUP, I actually have another couple of free tutorials on DLOOKUP, and I cover it in great depth in my Access Expert 10 class, the one before 11. So before you try to tackle DSUM, learn DLOOKUP well. DLOOKUP's a really good function. There's also DCOUNT and a couple of other domain aggregate functions, they're called. So that's it for today with DSUM. I hope you learned something. And, of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below. Thanks.